And now it's time for the final award of the night. It's the individual award, and it's a story of outstanding bravery and heroism. The battlefield is no place for children, but sadly, all too often, innocent children get caught up in the fighting, and that's when they need a hero to come to their rescue. This army medic has saved many children in Afghanistan, and last November, he braved a hail of enemy bullets to rescue a tiny Afghan girl who was bleeding to death. She'd been hit by a Taliban sniper. So let's take a look at a true children's champion, Corporal Aaron Rush. I'm just one of the boys here, to be honest. There's loads of people out there, and I'm sure they've done very similar and if not more things than what I've done. He has done this on a number of occasions. He's in the right place at the right time, and he's conducted those actions which have saved lives. That day we were tasked to go out and provide a cordon um, for a resupply convoy going down to our southern locations. There was a vehicle blocking the, the, the actual route down into the southern locations. The insurgents then took that opportunity they managed to then put a, a small arms fire, an RPG attack into our location. One of our guard positions said, um, gave the shout that there was a casualty coming towards us. I went out and I lifted her and brought her in. Um, brought her in straight into the medic facility we had there um, and just started there from then. She was in a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort. Um, with that, we was just basically trying to get trying to get her treated as best we could and get her out as quick as possible. Training kicked in straight away, and it was just in the, literally just go out and get her as soon as you could, just to give her every chance and you know, survive them. No doubt that the, the treatment given would have saved her life. He's there on the ground with very limited uh, pieces of equipment, uh, the knowledge in order to maintain that life until they get back for proper medical care. We've seen her about three or four times on patrols. She's getting there, she's not like 100%, but she is getting there. She's definitely right. She's the only girl in KK who'll put her hand out and like shake my hand. And the father was very thankful um, for everything. And when she came in, she came in a couple of times to get her dressings changed. And the whole time he was just very pleased, very happy with all the treatment ISAF's given her. Everybody respects what he's done and very, very pleased and proud often for what he's achieved. A true hero, I'm sure you'll all agree. And so who better to present the award than Lance Corporal Johnson Bahari, VC? Corporal Rush is still on active service, and so here to receive the award on his behalf is his mother, Patricia, and his fiancée, Gillian. I want to ask you what what you think he would say if he was here right now. He was just doing his job. He's, yeah. Mm. Very humble. Very, extremely very yeah. humble. He would probably yes. make And what do you think it will mean to him to get this award? I think it will mean a lot to him for the award, but I think it means more to him that he saved so many people and he's able to do so much to help the innocent. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if that's right, because he's here. He's flown back early from active duty. It's Aaron Rod. Uh, what can I say? Uh, 
Thank you very much. Uh, there's a lot of Afghan kids out there who, you know, who definitely need our support. Uh, medical facilities are limited, as you're probably aware. Um, so being able to actually treat them in their like our need is a, a very uh, great privilege, and I'm really happy to be able to do do whatever I can for the, the locals of Afghanistan, plus my own lads, and they're all back tomorrow. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Sorry for lying to you, Mum. <laughs> so. He's been holed up here for three days. <laughs> <laughs> At the Grove in a hotel, lording it up. <laughs> but I know that you won't rest, because you said earlier backstage that you're not going to rest until the rest of your troop yeah. are back. Isn't that right? Yeah, I'm, get, I'm, going, I'm getting treated tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you.